Hey, it's Coach Jose, and I'd like to welcome to Words of Wisdom, episode number five. And uh, for episode number five, just want to ask you, what frequency are you on? You may remember uh, you know, driving around and uh, having to search for radio stations, right? Uh, the reach of the FM station, if you were lucky enough to have FM, uh, it could be kind of weak. And so as you're traveling uh, through areas, you know, you start to lose signal and you have to find a new station. You may think, well, what's this got to do with anything? Well, it has everything to do with everything. See, that's the way our brains work. Our brains work like these giant tuners. And we tune in to specific frequencies. We tune in to all of the information that surrounds us. And uh, it's a very popular belief that all knowledge, all possibilities exist around us, right? There's an old saying, there's nothing new under the sun, right? Uh, so whether you believe in concepts like um, infinite intelligence, uh, collective unconscious, whatever it is you believe in, there's always this underlying theme that the universe already has all of the answers. And basically what we're doing is we're just tuning into it. So uh, it's important to understand that uh, we can adjust what we pick up based on the frequency that our brains are searching for. And the, the, the first thing to think about with that is that we always want to find what we're most familiar with, right? So we already have uh, these ingrained thoughts and beliefs and habits and patterns, and they can be really good ones or they can be somewhat destructive ones. But our brains are always going to search for things and filter things They'll, they'll filter out the things that don't meet our current mindset, and they'll search for things that will reinforce our current mindset. And this is one of the reasons why you you, know, you find that people uh, in like the political arena, the, the social political arena, right? if you have conservative views, you are going to watch conservative biased media. If you have liberal views, you're going to watch liberal biased media. Now, I'm not saying either one is right or wrong. All I'm saying is that you will always gravitate towards that point of view that reinforces what you already believe. We really don't like to be challenged. Most of us don't. We don't like being uncomfortable. But to gain newer knowledge, to, to grow, it requires us to tune in on a different frequency, to get different information, right? So it's that the gathering of that information that's going to eventually give us the power to create change, right? So if you are not getting the results that you want to get, think about changing your channel, right? If, you know, if you're driving around and you really don't like rap music, don't sit there and, and complain about how this radio station doesn't play anything you like change the channel. If you don't like the thoughts that you have and the resulting actions that come from those thoughts, change your channel. The other aspect of this is that the people that we surround ourselves with, right? We're all broadcasting our thoughts. We're all broadcasting our energy. We all exist uh, in our own unique frequencies. Um, just like with driving around with those FM stations, uh, the strongest signal is going to win. You have a fairly strong mind uh, and you have a fairly strong uh, frequency that you're operating at. But if you surround yourselves with people who are at a different frequency and those frequencies are stronger, it's going to change you. It's going to make you tune into that frequency. So we have to think about choosing the people that we spend time with, that we that we allow their frequencies to affect us. So if you spend a lot of time with negative people, right, their brains are functioning in a negative kind of wavelength. Even if you're positive in general, if theirs is strong enough, it's going to pull you down. Conversely, if you're surrounding yourself with people who are functioning at a higher frequency, it's going to pull you up. It's going to lift you up. So I just want you to think about that. Right? If you see patterns occurring in your life, the first thing I want you to ask yourself is, what frequency am I at? Right? What are the sources of information that I'm tapping into universally? What are the sources of information that are influencing me, meaning your interaction with, uh, with your circle of friends, your influencers? Right? Are you gather? Are you gaining uh, 
higher frequency information or lower frequency information. Right? And the last thing I'd like you to think about is that you can change the frequency of your brain. That's what things like meditation do. Right? So we can adjust the frequency, the wavelength that our brains are functioning at, right? from the highest uh, into the gamma uh, frequencies where our brain, are, uh, that's when we're functioning at our creative highs, right? down into the, the deep delta states uh, where our brains slow down and we begin to release uh, some of the conscious stuff and get deep into our subconscious uh, where we can uh, have moments of enlightenment. So the thing is, is that you can either change it by changing your dial, adjusting your dial. That's a conscious decision that's directing the change, or you can allow the external situations, the strongest frequency to overtake you. Uh, so, and sometimes that's a good thing. Surround yourself with people who, who have really good positive energy, and that can really help you out. I'm searching for people who are at a, a higher level uh, on their personal development than you. Great way of changing the, the frequency of your brain, frequency of your life. Right? If you spend your time with people who are going to bring you down, uh, that's a great way to hold yourself back. Okay, so just think about that. What is your frequency? Right? And do you need to change your dial? All right, this is Coach Jose saying, see you next time.